And joining us for a little bit is my new favorite state of Louisiana uh, elected official, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Mr. Billy, how are you this morning? I'm doing good. It's afternoon. Now, in there Germany. may be. He's in a, Germany. There may be a little bit of a delay because you are in Europe, specifically this morning in Germany, promoting Louisiana and Louisiana business, Louisiana airlines, and direct flights from, I guess, New Orleans to different locations on the continent, correct? We have that direct flight to Frankfurt, which we've been promoting for the last two days, and uh, we'll be going to London later this week to promote, with all the travel agents there, the direct flight uh, British Airways into London. Okay, so I had said, and you heard me on the intro say, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, my new favorite uh, state of Louisiana elected official, because not only are you in Germany, you will be back in in England, specifically London, this weekend where the Saints are playing. Yeah, Wembley Stadium, you're going to go? But you're not going to go. Why? You know, I stood on the sidelines with mothers that lost loved ones uh, oh. at war. And I saw as they played the national anthem, uh, tears in their eyes, how proud they were of our country and and uh, thinking of the loved ones, their sacrifice, uh, losing their son um, to to uh, this country, defending this country. And I just, after flying up here on Sunday, I was sick of my stomach to see uh, these football players uh, taking a knee during the national anthem. I cannot support any football, any event where they do not honor this great country and, and they do not stand and put their hand over their hearts for the national anthem. Uh, I just can't do it. Billy, what can the NFL do now? I mean, it's it's like they've gone down this road and there's going to be no return. There's going to be a lot of fans like you that are gone forever. How do they get themselves out of this? Or do they think they're in the problem? Well, do, do, do you think they think I, they have a problem? Well, I, I think they 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 knelt to a few people that want to draw attention to themselves and it started with the quarterback last year with the 49ers look with all their money and all their followers they really wanted to make a difference go out and do something or protest anything other than mass landing they took one of the most sacred things we have in this country where we all can agree we live in the greatest country in the world and they decided to d- disgrace that in taking a knee. Shame on them. Let me ask you this. There's a couple of lawmakers who say we should now relook at our deal with the Saints. They get millions of dollars from Louisiana, and we might want to rethink this. Are you on that side, too? Yeah, I, I don't know if the contract, uh, how it's written, who gave what when. Uh, so, uh, absolutely, I think the, the lawmakers taking another look at that. You know, the, the, the taxpayers of, of uh, St. Louis built a new stadium, and they weren't making enough money, so they up and left. And for the next 20, 30 years, the taxpayers of St. Louis will be paying for an empty stadium. So it's, it's, it's no secret that the NFL is all about the mighty dollar. So uh, will they stand if they're hurting the pocketbook? Possibly. But, but I can tell you, I will not uh, buy anything with the NFL on it. I will not go to a game. And, uh, you know, my job is to promote tourism, but I also have a right as a citizen not to support uh, any organization or group that does not respect our flag and our country. And they can say what they want. Words are cheap. Actions speak louder than words. And their actions are a disgrace to this country. And... For them to say, well, I still love this country, but I'm taking a need to an anthem, you can't have it both ways. Uh, talk is cheap, and their actions show they have no respect for the national anthem. Mr. Ben, I, I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here, but you're a really good off-the-cuff, think-on-your-feet kind of guy. So I know you ought to have a pretty awesome answer. As a number of, and I will speak broadly here, a number of high school athletes, specifically football players across America, are watching the National Football League protests, the ones they've seen over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have here in Shreveport a school that is planning a 
an anthem protest of their own this weekend. If if that team were in here, if you were in their locker room, Mr. Billy, if you were in their locker room, what would you say to them to try to talk them out of that? Look one of those mothers in the eye that lost her son. A son not much older than those young men. Lost them forever, fighting for this country. So they could have the right to protest and do anything they want. I would say if you really protest and know what you're protesting about, do it, but not doing the national anthem. That's grandstanding. That's taking advantage of something that we hold very sacred uh, in this country and using that as a platform. Get on your own platform. Do it on your own time. And get out and do something about whatever the hell you think you're protesting about. You know, one of the footballs saying he was protesting police officers killing black men. Well, there has been a few instances, but there's also been some police that through our justice system have been vindicated of the charges that they keep bringing up names as if those police officers were found guilty. So so let's make sure we're being factual and not throwing cheap talk out there uh, to where they think there's an outcry of police officers just beating up on people or killing people because... Uh, the, the majority of all our law enforcement goes out there every day and keeps us safe. Uh, so even but for any protest, for any reason, whatever you think, do it on your own time, not doing the national anthem. That's all I ask. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, one more question. What could get you back to the NFL? What could they do to get you back watching back in the Superdome to watch the Saints? Stand up, respect our country, respect our flag, put your hand over your heart, and uh, and honor those that lost their life and those that are still serving in the military that gives you that right to play football and make that money that you're making. None of those guys taking the knees uh, are deprived of anything. Um, quit grandstanding. Get up and do the right thing for America.